So what is going on everybody? Happy Labor Day. There we go. We've made it to Labor Day. Yay. I don't know why this thing isn't picking up the damn... I don't know. So today we are heading to the soon to be no more Calumet Harley Davidson. And then coming back, we'll take the scenic route. Yeah, I did a video on this. I think I put this up on Tuesday, that uh, this past Tuesday, which was like the 30th or 30, 49, I don't know, something like that. I, I, I'll put a link to it up somewhere or other once I figure out how to do that. But. Yeah, Calumet is closing. I was a little surprised to hear that. I figured that if we lost a dealer in this area, it would probably be either Michigan City or Valpo. And not Calumet, but meh. And it kind of sucks because Calumet always seemed to have the fun stuff going on. You know, they did dealer rides, you know, once or twice a month. and All sorts of cool stuff, but... But yeah, they're, uh, I, I'm hoping it's just the guy who owned it is ready to retire and maybe it gets sold, maybe, it, I don't know, who knows, sold and rebranded or something. I don't want to stop because my dumb, dumb, you know what, forgot lens wipes. I meant to bring my backpack that I normally just put on my sissy bar, but I forgot it. I carry wipes in there just in case the lens gets crap on it. awful brown. We haven't really had much rain the last month, really. But yeah, I think we're going to go to Calumet and we'll take the scenic route home. But try to pick up some poker chips and maybe a shirt or two. Because they're doing all sorts of, you know, closeout stuff. Because I think everybody was a little surprised when they, when they put that on Facebook that they were going to shut down. I'm going to need gas at some point today, too. I don't have, you know, all day to ride. I got like four hours, so. Which isn't bad, but, you know, I'd rather have all day. If I had all day, I'd do something, you know, different. Do something cooler. Like, go down and try to find some semi-twisty roads. Not that in this area we have a lot of those. Unfortunately. Farmers markets are starting to open up. Flag is that? I don't even know. That red one. Kind of look like it had a griffin. He's a Gryffindor! Not now. I had all day, I'd go up to Milwaukee. Although, I don't know what they're doing up there right now with, you know, they got all the riots. If you don't know the Lake Michigan, you know, circle area, it's Chicago and then, it, you know, it's, you know, East Chicago and Hammond and that area. Whiting is kind of a little gap in there, but um, and then you get to Chicago, and then after Chicago, 
you get to, you know, the various north suburbs that are just north of Chicago. And then, uh, that's a good place for them, right? North suburbs just north of Chicago. Like Evanston and whatnot, which is where uh, Northwestern is, and you got Skokie, and then, you know, you got a bunch of other ones, like, you know, the big Great Lakes Naval Base is actually in north of Chicago. I, I, I know, they really name these, they really name these towns, you know, great. But once you get into Wisconsin, um, you, you cross into Pleasant Prairie and then Kenosha. Well, Kenosha's been in the news because they've had all sorts of riots and stuff going on because somebody who had a knife, and this is all I'm going to say about it, had a knife in his car. Now, whether or not he had it or not, we don't know. Was shot in the back seven times by the cops. The, the only thing I'm going to say is cops shoot you seven times and you're still alive, yeah, you should consider yourself lucky. Yeah, I should have went that way. In fact, I think I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go up down 421. See if anything's going on at city before we head out that way. I was watching a video. I think Yammy did it. Um, he was comparing the MT-10 to the R1, which is kind of fitting for me because I've had my eye on this leftover new MT-10. I think it was an, I think it was an 18 at one of the local dealers by where I used to live. Now it's not super duper close, but I wish I had last weekend free because one of the Yamaha dealers had had demo truck out there and I would have really liked to have gotten on the Z9 and the Ninja 650 because you know super sports a super sport no matter what you do it's going to be pretty well the same thing the difference between an R1 and a or you know an, R, an R6 and a, which I rode last year I rode the 3 and the 6 both and they were okay it's just that position is just yeah the, the Ninja 650 is one I'd really like to test ride. I did get on the uh, the MT-07. It was, it was cool. I would have liked to get on the 9 and 10 just to compare it. But, you know, it is. It is what it is. And I still haven't heard back from Slipstreamer, which is really pissing me off right now. It's been it's been basically two full weeks since I emailed them about the broken tongue, uh, and they still haven't gotten back to me. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to say it right now: uh, if you buy something from uh, Slipstreamer, uh, buyer beware. Their customer service is awful. If I have time, I may call them because they're out of Minneapolis. They're out of somewhere in Minnesota. Depending on how much time, I may stop by the Honda in. Uh, the Honda and the uh, uh, Kawasaki dealer, which is where I bought the, the Vulcan at, which I don't think I've ever talked about that bike. The Vulcan 500 I had to start with, it was a great beginner bike. It had enough power that I wasn't going to really outgrow it too much. The looks, I mean, it, it looked like a Sportster. It had like a three, three and a half gallon tank. It, yeah, it was a great bike to start on. Um, yeah, it was a great bike to start on. It really was. It, it had enough power that, you know, my uncle said he was said he and he's been riding for years. I think he's got a, I think he's got a Dyna Lowrider S, but I'm not 100 percent sure. He was a guy I was supposed to see this summer, but stupid Rona got in the way. But we're going to try to do that next year. But we're 
start making the money now that we're gonna be able to get my bars done so that's cool just about made all the money I need for the bar job so we'll probably start ordering parts for it my guess is probably about the end of October maybe we'll start ordering the stuff figure out exactly what I want get a list I'll give the dealer a chance to order it because they normally take care of you pretty good they, they normally match costs for everybody but, but yeah so I the only question I have is 12s or 14s um, and I might sit with the parts guy for a minute and have him help me figure it out. And this is something we're going to probably take care of this winter too. We're, we're going to get an aftermarket speedo. This is just driving me absolutely bat, you know what, crazy. And, and, and all the guys I've seen who've replaced them, they, they, they end up with the same problem. So it's like, shit. Come on, Harley, what the hell? You spend 20 grand on a bike and you got to deal with that crap where you can't see your LCD display? That sucks. That gas has dropped again. Anything going on over there? Couple people out there looking. Those are for sale. Yeah, those are all for sale. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I've really stopped in there to look at stuff other than... I did a lot. I, maybe it was... Was it over there? No, it was last year. I think it was last year I stopped in there when I was thinking about when my note on my car ended and I... What, I gonna, was I going to trade it in for a truck or was I going to buy a secondary bike? And I'm kind of glad I didn't buy the second bike because we haven't sold our old place yet and that was going to be the money that we were going to build the secondary garage with. And yeah, Everybody going to Michigan. in the fast lane all right it's gonna get loud so we'll we'll see you you know when we get over by Munster uh. all right well I don't know how much of that recorded because I think my XD card is beginning to take a crap on me so so we had to stop at Staples and and get another one because well, I got this feeling that I need to basically plan on buying one, at least one new SD card every year. I should have got some lens wipes though. Too. I should have brought some with me, my dumb dumb you know what. I should have brought some with me, but I don't know if that's a helmet or if it's just, it's just really, really tight to click down all the way. Man, if I lost that whole segment getting over here, that's going to tick me off. I've got so much footage ready to edit. I just got to find time to do it. It's a bad thing about doing this. Is filming is awesome. It's just, you know, random stupid thoughts get through your head and you just talk and, you know, that's easy. But, Boston Market.
Hmm. Johnny's Tap, the home of Mr. Fun. He's there. I'm trying to go through my head and say what I said before because I may have to repeat myself. Time it's closing. It was kind of surprising when I heard that. If if we were going to lose a dealer around this area, I kind of figured it would be either Michigan City or Valpo. But I don't know if it's the motor company doing that or if it's just the owner is ready to retire and he's kind of hoping maybe he sells or something. I don't know. <laughs> Where is my burrito? I agree. Where is mine? Remember when there used to be there used to be absolutely nothing here. I mean you got basically south of 45th and there wasn't anything. And they built Centennial Park, I don't know. Like five, ten years ago. The old landfill. Landmark ought to be a landfill. Yeah, it is. Cafe Borgia. You want overpriced Italian food, they got it. They say it's not good, it's just way more than I would spend, spend, want to spend on Italian food. gonna go see what's going on and uh yeah we'll see you in a little bit